Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part one of the chapter Solutions. You have studied in earlier classes about elements, compounds and mixtures. And you know that mixtures can be classified into three categories that is homogeneous mixtures, heterogeneous mixtures and colloidal solutions. So let me just explain a little bit about what a homogeneous mixture is, what a heterogeneous mixture is and what a colloid is. A mixture, as you can understand, is made by one or more components which are not chemically combined with each other. Unlike in compounds where you have elements which combine with each other and form chemical bonds and therefore the compound, the molecule that is formed is a separate entity having properties which are different from those of the constituent elements. But in a mixture, when you have a mixture, the properties of a mixture are uh, kind of they, they have the properties of the constituent particles because the constituent particles have not really reacted with each other but mixtures in mixtures there is no chemical bonding there is no change in the nature of the substance so when we categorize these mixtures into homogeneous heterogeneous and colloids what we actually mean is that a homogeneous mixture is one where you cannot see the constituent particles separately to you, to the naked eye, you cannot tell which part is which. For example, if you dissolve salt in water, or if you dissolve sugar in water, or uh, let us say I have this perfume here, it has something mixed in water or alcohol, but can you really see the constituent particles? You cannot. Alcohol in water, again, if you dissolve it, you can't see. But if you put oil in water, it's a mixture where you can see the oil floating over the uh, surface of water. So this is a mixture, but the components are clearly visible. You can see the components clearly. So any mixture where you can see the components separately is a heterogeneous mixture. And any mixture where you, you cannot see the components is a homogeneous mixture. Now, for example, this is this is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. There is air present in the jar and uh, I have these caramel popcorns in it. So you can see the caramel popcorns which are solids which are distributed in the entire jar but there are spaces which show that there is air inside them. So you can see both the components separately where the caramel popcorn is there, the air is not present there and where you see the air spaces, the caramel popcorn is absent there. So such a mixture would be a heterogeneous mixture. So mixtures of solids usually are heterogeneous mixtures. And then comes the third category which is a colloid. A colloid is a substance which is actually heterogeneous but appears to be homogeneous. To our naked eye, you may think that it is homogeneous but it appears to be heterogeneous. For example, I have this maza here. If you see the bottom of the maza drink, you'll see some particles settle down, the mango particles. And the entire drink appears to be, uh, it's not transparent, it's kind of uh, translucent. On the other hand, the perfume was absolutely transparent. Do you see? You can see through it, but you cannot see through the maza. So this is a colloidal solution, but you can't see through. It's a colloid or it's a mixture which is, uh, which is actually heterogeneous, but you can't see the particles clearly. Therefore, it appears to be homogeneous. Another such example of a colloid is nail polish. Have you seen there are some glittery glittery things present in the nail polish and they settle down at the bottom. So when you're about to use a nail polish, we usually give it a good shake and then we apply the nail polish. So the reason is that the colloid, it appears you, and it is, you, you can't see through it. It is actually opaque because of the presence of those colored uh, pigments and the particles in it. So this is also a mixture, which is a colloid. So what do we understand? And why am I talking of the different kinds of mixtures? Because homogeneous mixtures, they are known as solutions. So what is a homogeneous mixture? A mixture in which you cannot see the constituent particles separately is a homogeneous mixture, right? And therefore they are known as solutions and this, is, this chapter is on solutions. So we'll be studying the different kinds, the different categories of solutions. But before we come to different categories of solutions, in this chapter, we are only going to be studying binary solutions. 
binary means that solutions which have only two components right which has only two components so what is a solution a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more than two components and if it has only two components then the solution is known as a binary solution yeah let us now write down differentiate between these and here's a table that i have made the type of solution the solute the solvent the physical states and on the basis of physical states we divide these solutions the binary solutions can be categorized into three main categories that is gaseous solutions liquid solutions and solid solutions for any solution to be formed you usually have one of the components which forms the medium and the other component which has been added to it the substance which forms the medium or is present in larger quantity is known as the solvent and the substance which is added in a, in a smaller quantity is known as the solute. So when we categorize these types of solutions, we are categorizing them on the basis of the solvent, what the solvent is. So whatever is the physical state of the solvent, on the basis of that we have solutions to be of three categories, that is gaseous solutions, liquid solutions and solid solutions. So gaseous solutions would be the one where the solvent or the bulk the main component is a gas liquid solutions would be where the major component of the mixture is a liquid and solid solutions would be where the major component of the mixture is a solid so whatever is the solute it may be any of the three states so in each category we get three different types of solutions one of each physical state where the solute is of a different physical state or is of one of the three physical states so let us come to these categories. In gaseous solutions, you have the kind, the first type would be where the solute is a gas and is present in, of course, in gaseous solutions, the solvent is always a gas. So we will call such a mixture to be a gas in gas mixture or gas in gas solution. When I say solution, I mean it has to be a homogeneous mixture where you can't see the components separately. So gas in gas is a very common kind of a mixture. Air is gas into, in gas. Different kinds of uh, gases are present in air and air is a mixture of gases and we can't see the components, the different gases. Therefore, this is a mixture which is gas in gas. But since we are talking of binary solutions, we need only one solvent and one, uh, one solute. Therefore, we will specify, take an example, a specific example here. Let us say you have nitrogen gas and you add oxygen to it. So oxygen and nitrogen together would form a binary solution of which kind of gas in gas. When we say gas in gas, the gas, second gas is the, is the solvent and the first component that you're talking of is the solute. The second category here or the second type of gaseous mixture would be so a liquid in gas. If you have a liquid present in a gas, then the mixture is known as a uh, gas, uh, sorry, liquid and gas kind of mixture or a solution. And an example would be chloroform, which is present in nitrogen. Chloroform is a liquid and it is present in nitrogen would be an example of um, one component that is a liquid component in gas. Do you know if I spray, uh, let us say I spread some water into the air now. So I had air and this water, the liquid droplets of water, which I can't see because the spritz, when I spritz it, the particles are so small. So when you have fog, when you have mist, the particles of water, they are so small in the atmosphere. That is also an example of a mixture where you have a liquid in gas. So liquid in gas kind of a mixture would be where you have a liquid which is dispersed evenly in a gas example, chloroform and nitrogen. The third category of gaseous mixture, of course, would be now we've done solid in gas, we've done liquid in gas, oh, sorry, gas in gas, liquid in gas. So the third would be solid in gas. If you have a solid present in gas and it is dispersed properly, then that kind of an, uh, that would be a solution where you have a solid in gas. For example, you have camphor present in nitrogen or do you know naphthalene balls, which uh, um, the naphthalene balls that you use as moth balls? They also dissipate, they directly convert into the vapor form and they are also present in air. But those are actually solid particles which are dispersed. Therefore, uh, another example of this would be uh, naphthalene in air, 
Camphor in nitrogen is again a binary solution where you have a solid dispersed in a gas. The second category of solutions would be liquid solutions which means that now the solvent would be a liquid. So solute can be gas, liquid and solid. So first type would be gas in a liquid. An example of gas present in liquid is the fizzy drinks. You have um, coke, all the sodas, they have carbon dioxide dissolved in water and you can't see the carbon dioxide. So that is one example of, it, of uh, uh, what air or gaseous component in liquid. Oxygen present in water. All aquatic plants, they breathe through the oxygen which is dissolved in uh, water. Therefore, they form, uh, that is an example of a gas in a liquid. Also, the plants give out carbon dioxide which is also dissolved in water. So, you have oxygen in water, carbon dioxide in water. The gases which are dissolved, carbon dioxide in water in soda bottles are all examples of gas in liquid. Then comes liquid in liquid. The solvent is also a liquid and the solute is also a liquid. You have alcohol, you add water to it, that makes a liquid in liquid. So liquid in liquid, ethanol in water. The next is solid present in a liquid. You take salt, dissolve it in water. You take a spoonful of sugar, dissolve it in water. Those are solids in liquid. Glucose, dissolve it in water. So water is a liquid and glucose, sugar, salt, all are solids. Then come the third category, which is a little rarer kind of category, you know, the solid solutions. The solid solutions are, again, they would be of three kinds, where the solvent is a solid and you have a gas dissolved in a solid, a liquid dissolved in a solid or a solid dissolved in a solid. For an example of a gas dissolved in solid, you could have a solution of hydrogen in palladium. Sometimes you have metals or solids in which you see little bubbles, you know, uh, uh, or sponge. That is an ex a sponge itself is an example of a solid which has got air present in it. So that would be a solution of uh, a gas in a solid. The solid sponge is the solvent and the gas present in it is the, uh, is the solute. You have cake which is spongy. It is again anything that is spongy would be a solid in which there is a gas. So hydrogen in palladium is an example of a, uh, of a uh, solution of a gas in a solid. Second is liquid in a solid. What would a liquid in a solid in an example be? All amalgams, you know mercury is a metal which is a liquid. So all alloys of mercury are known as amalgams and all amalgams would be uh, examples of a liquid dissolved in a solid. So amalgam of mercury with sodium is known as sodium amalgam. So amalgams are all uh, examples of liquid in solid kind of a solution. And the last category of solutions would be a solid dissolved in a solid. All alloys are examples of solids and solids. You take steel, nickel, chrome steel. You have gold in which a little copper or a little silver has been added. Platinum, uh, which may also have a little bit of platinum added to it. So you have uh, all kind of alloys, brass, bronze, tin. All of these are examples of alloys which are made by combining metals with metals. So they are all examples of solid in solid kind of uh, solutions but remember solid in solid kind of solutions cannot be made in the solid state if I take a piece of copper and I take some gold and I try to mix them just like that it would form a heterogeneous mixture in order to make a solution of a solid in solid I have to melt the two dissolve the two nicely and then allow them to solidify so the solution would not be formed by simple just by mixing them in the solid state a solid and solid kind of a solution would only be made when the metals or the solids have been mixed in the molten state and then allowed to solidify. So all alloys are examples of solid in solid kind of solutions. That is copper in gold is one example. So with this I think I just gave you an introduction of the new chapter and if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and recommend it to your friends and please keep coming back for more videos in chemistry thank you for watching and bye bye for now